The E7208 trial basically asked the question of whether double biologics would be beneficial in the second line setting. The history of double biologics in colorectal cancer is somewhat complicated. Uh, approximately a decade ago, the BOND and BOND2 trial and other studies suggested that there was a benefit to combining drugs um, attacking or blocking the VEGFR pathway and the EGFR pathway together, uh, in, especially in the first line setting, so in untreated patients. And although the uh, small trials were promising, the large phase three randomized trial showed no benefit or even a trend to harm in some, in some settings of using a double biologic approach. Again, double biologic meaning VEGFR and EGFR. This study said, could we perhaps resurrect that strategy in the second line setting? Is it possible that um, giving cancer cells exposure to first line therapy might change things such that they would be more sensitive in the second line setting? And so this trial looked at adding a VEGFR2 inhibitor, ramucirumab, and cetuximab to a very standard of care cytotoxic chemotherapy drug, arunatecan. This is a somewhat small trial of about 100 patients, so this certainly is not a trial that should cha change practice whatsoever. But nonetheless, there seemed to be a benefit toward the double biologic approach versus the single biologic approach. So the implications of this trial are essentially hypothesis generation whether or not it will be followed on with a perhaps larger trial that could be practice changing will remain to be seen. But at this point, it doesn't change practice. It's just a very interesting study that could have follow-up studies. So the uh, appellant study looked at whether or not you can use TAS-102, which is a new formulation of a 5-FU type of therapy. It's not 5-FU, it's not exactly like 5-FU, but it has a similar chemical composition whether or not you could use that in combination with an EGFR inhibitor. And I think we'll probably see other studies looking at whether or not TAS-102 is superior to 5-FU when um, combined with oxaliplatinum, TASOX, when combined with arenotecan, TASERI. And in this trial, they looked at combining it with an EGFR inhibitor. The initial uh, results look fairly promising, that these two drugs seem to combine together. There weren't any um, uh, overly worrisome toxicity signals, and the efficacy signal um, seems to be there. Not practice changing in that this is not a very large trial. We'll uh, need to see other studies where TAS-102 is incorporated into these combination regimens, because currently it's approved only as a single agent after um, other therapies have been given. But so far, the uh, data on combinations seem to be manageable. Um, the drugs are recommending that they're basically their usual dose and schedules. And so um, we'll see whether or not it improves uh, survival outcomes in larger studies.